Hello and welcome back. So far, we've got some basic understanding of the WebRTC standard and the network protocols. It's now time to learn the main features and most common uses of the Google Platform as a Service, Google App Engine. Even though WebRTC is a well-known standard, finding a way to build a backend could be really difficult. You will learn how simple it is to use Google App Engine to create a backend that will handle communication between two clients. Let's start exploring the main features of Google App Engine. Google App Engine is a platform as a service offering. It lets you build and run application on Google's infrastructure. Platform as a service is a cloud computing utility that provides a computing platform and a solution stack. It's a model of cloud computing where the end user creates an application or service using the tools and libraries from the provider. The end user also gets to control software deployment and configuration settings, while the provider provides the networks, servers, storage and other solutions that are required to host the end user's application. Google App Engine supports apps written in a variety of programming languages, such as Python, Java and recently the PHP and Go languages as well. An SDK with local test environments and deployment tools is available for App Engine supported languages. You can find out more about this SDK if you want at developers.google.com slash app engine slash docs slash what is Google App Engine. Please note that App Engine's data storage and traffic is free up to 1 gigabyte, but you can increase it by paying if you want. We will only be using a very small subset of the App Engine's features. Remember that a feature may be available in every runtime language or only in a subset of languages. So, before planning to use a feature, check if it's available in your preferred programming language. Every App Engine feature is classified according to its status and availability, as General Availability, Beta and Alpha. Let's check out App Engine Data Store. App Engine Data Store is a schemeless NoSQL data store for your web application. NoSQL databases provide different storage and retrieval methods for data handling. These kinds of mechanisms are totally different from the ones used by relational databases and could be really useful to improve performance on schemeless data. The App Engine NoSQL database uses atomic transactions, high availability and a strong consistency. As anticipated in the course description, we will use Java as a programming language for developing the backend. We'll use the Java SDK shipped with Google App Engine, which uses a full Java runtime environment. App Engine runs Java 7 JVM in a safe sandbox environment, so please remember the following points. First, the App Engine application cannot write to disk, but it can only read its files. It has limited time of response and it cannot use any other system calls. Second, an App Engine Java application can use threads paying attention to some restrictions. Google also developed a plugin for Eclipse that has debug configuration and a testing environment. So, as you can see in this introduction, Google App Engine is a platform full of features that are ready to be explored. After this section, you will be able to set up a complete Google App Engine environment that will be ready to develop web applications. Keep in mind that App Engine is a Google's product, so it's well documented and tested. So, in case of any doubts, please refer to the online documentation or to the available Google Groups. As you saw, Google App Engine is an easy-to-use framework that brings all the needed stuff to make an advanced web service. In the next video, we'll introduce the Eclipse Java IDE tool configuration.